beauty of uh, you know web meetings and zoom meetings is that we end up starting on time so indian stretchable time as we used to call it is now getting uh, compressed so we start on time uh, it's 4:30 and i would like to welcome all the participants all the lovely part participants i would say to this beautiful beautiful webinar we are going to talk about this absolutely fantastic topic of creativity and curiosity children typically have amazing curiosity in the rain they would go out and explore everything i remember as a child there used to be the small tunnel around uh my hometown uh, someone said that this tunnel leads into a cave 3 uh, kilometers away and look at us we were 12 years old me and my elder brother i think i was 11 he was 12 and we took a candle and we started going inside this tunnel luckily the tunnel had caved in after some 20 meters otherwise who knows we'd have got lost but that's what curiosity is all about and children have amazing curiosity something happens as you start growing older your curiosity and your creativity starts going away and that's what we're going to talk about today i have with me uh, dr naren chirmule the very famous biotechnologist scientist artist uh, with us today and he's going to talk about this beautiful topic topic quick introduction to naren naren is uh, a biotechnologist a phd and i hope biotechnology i never actually asked him what his phd thesis was on he then joined uh, some of the biggest pharma companies of the world his last position was with a company called mgen mgen is the largest biotechnology company in the world as i understand and then swades hit narain so this was the movie that shahrukh khan also acted in where he came back from nasa so narain moved from mgen to india to bangalore to join a company called biocon and head their research efforts and after doing that very successfully narain is back in the us and uh, we're so delighted narain that you're also part of shulani now and uh, you continue to do very very exciting work with uh, all the different ventures that you have my name is atul khosla i am the pro vice chancellor and founder of shulani university kasoli hills it's an honor to speak to all of you children and teachers like i said we'll talk about curiosity we'll talk about creativity and apart from narain of course narain is going to play the flute or play the violin or some instrument and he's going to show how creative it he is i'm going to also share some examples of creativity with all of you because we believe that creativity is is so critical to succeed uh, i'm a btech from iit kanpur i then worked in the industry for many many years i was the ceo of a large consulting firm in india by the name of oliver wyman and then the teaching bug hit me and we built shulani shulani is a passion it's uh, about curiosity it's about creativity but i'll talk about shulani later i'm going to request uh, jia ma'am to introduce the school and we'll get into the topic immediately after that with dr narain chirmule so jia ma'am over to you thank you mr atul thank you so much i welcome dr narain on this webinar hanshad public school as you know it is situated in panchkula it is in the foothills of shivali and we cater to children from k12 children and today the children who are joining us is of class 9th and 10th and 11th 12th they are very curious to know i mean how to increase one's creativity uh, because that this day is like earlier i was talking with mr atul the days are very bleak the children are under lot of trauma because for the last 5 months they are not able to come to school they have to put up with the whatever learning module through say through the small screen of a mobile or a tv and their energies are not spent so if you could guide them their peers how to do it at this hour uh, when the covid 19 is bothering everyone whether it is a child or it is a grown up everyone so i i hope they are going to learn a lot from you sir i welcome you on this webinar and uh, i say that because if you with your guidance they they will be able to learn more how to channelize because it is one of the life skills they should be knowing there are 10 life skills who has said the uh, because today's topic i was saying self awareness but it is curiosity and creativity okay it is related to that so you can just tell them about self awareness once they know themselves then they can channelize their energy into whatever field they want to create it thank you so much 
I welcome you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. And over to you, Dr. Narin Chirmale, for your wonderful talk. Thank you so much, Atul, and thank you, everyone, Shikha, um, and um, uh, Jaya. Thank you so much for including me into this uh, beautiful seminar that you've uh, organized. And, and students, um, really, I'm excited to talk to you and, and maybe much, much more excited than my presentation to hear what you have to say. And I see Sanjeevani, Adhyayani, and Navya are also online with us, and we, they will be communicating with us uh, shortly. Uh, so let me give a small presentation, maybe uh, 15, 20 minutes, and then we can uh, dive into some questions. Um, so what I like to do is I like to talk about something which I call experiments with uh, self-awareness. Um, and I'll tell you what that means as we go along. Uh, but before that, my uh, experience, my own experience, I've, uh, is I went to school in Lucknow uh, in Kendriya Vidyalaya, and then I did my PhD from Bombay University, by the way, in applied biology, Abdul, <laughs> uh, and that was my subject, uh, although the, it, it in, involved many different subjects like immunology and biochemistry and others. Uh, then I uh, got a lot of experience uh, in developing biologics and vaccines in my career. Uh, and I, uh, and Atul had mentioned a few companies that I had been in. I like to talk what I call inflection points, which are points of a curve, uh, of a straight line curve. When the, cur when the shape of the curve changes, that is the inflection point. So in my own career, my decision to do a PhD versus doing marketing was an inflection point early in my career. And recently, my um, decision to come back to India after 30 years of being in the US was another big inflection point. And I also play, a, uh, in, I'm very, very interested in work, what I call work-life balance, which means you have to have a good hobby in throughout your life to, 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 to you know, balance everything that's going on at work. So I'll be talking a little bit about uh, curiosity. Um, awareness is the state of being conscious about something. So this, this is uh, something that we'll talk about. So um, how do you become aware? You have, uh, you have to start observing things around you. So that, that's how the awareness process starts. Uh, and as children, um, you're constantly observing things and absorbing things uh, and making your own interpretation of what that is. So um, uh, how you do that is by pausing, looking at things and then listening, listening for um, cues. One method to do that is uh, in our brain, what happens is we are thinking about a lot of different things all the time, especially now, right? Um, because we are sitting at home so much, we are sitting down, meeting many friends, bagera, bagera. So what you do is you make this sort of a chart uh, and you write what's in your mind, which is related to what you are doing. So for example, for me, I'm thinking about what are people doing during the lockout? This is sort of my own thought process. And I like immunology. So I'm studying a lot of immunology of COVID these days. For, this is for myself. And what's happening in the city is that the summer season is on and the flowers are blooming and outdoor restaurants are being, uh, are being very innovative. They are putting tables outside and you know, with social distancing, uh, that's how business is being done. In the country, there are a lot of grants that are being available by, by Indian government to give money to do research in innovative topics. And then a lot of people are volunteering these days. In the world, more than 25,000 papers have been published on COVID uh, and you, social activists like Black Lives Matters and challenges of how to go back to school and physical presence, all of these things are happening in the world, right? So when you separate all of these things out, it becomes easier for you to understand all of these complexities. Now, if in terms of curiosity and innovation, uh, um, COVID has really expanded the ability to innovate. Uh, this is a slide where you can show the new technologies that you can just walk into a space and a, a camera can look into your, look, take a picture of you and determine things like your heart rate, your breathing, your temperature, whether you're coughing, et cetera, et cetera, just by standing. So this is very innovative. 
the other innovative thing that Atul will talk about later is, is the innovation in education. Food services are being transmitted by um, um, people-less cars. Uh, bathrooms are being cleaned by UV activated drones, right? So a lot of these new innovations are coming up. How do you know, how do you, how do you keep in touch with what is required? Uh, I read a lot of uh, articles and I like to, like to read this article, be this journal called Nature, which has a lot of innovative work that is published. So let me start by saying that I'll, uh, let's describe what is uh, curiosity and how does it lead to innovation? What is man's best invention ever? It is the wheel. However, there is no animal with a wheel. So as good as man's invention is, there is no equivalent in the animal kingdom. So how, what is innovation? In my mind, the innovation is either top down or bottom up. So from top down, what we think about innovation is innovation is used to solve a problem. And let's say the solved problem is a box. In order to solve the problem of the box, we break the box up into equal parts and then try to solve each part at a, separately. However, we end up not solving one of the parts because too difficult, it is too difficult to solve. And when, you, when, we, when we think it is going to be solved, we reconstruct the box and say, okay, is it, uh, is it reconstructed? And we said, yeah, maybe it is. But what happened is over a period of time, the whole box falls apart because that piece that you didn't solve uh, was actually very important for um, the whole problem to be solved. On the opposite side of the spectrum is bottoms up approach where you have small, small problems which are very difficult. You solve each one of them and they last, the, they last uh, for many, many years. So examples of these top down approaches are uh, drugs. Like for example, there was a drug uh, in the 1990s called Vioxx, which was a medical drug for pain. And it was working very well until such time later on uh, it started showing that it had, it had uh, people started getting heart attacks because of it. Uh, and so it had to be pulled out of the market. So innovation for pain, but did not last very long because you saw these side effects, right? On the meanwhile, from the bottoms up approach, the evolution utilizes the bottoms up approach when tadpoles have to come out of the water and evolutionarily and become frogs, they tried many different small, small things, all mutations. Finally, they became a frog. And the frog, of course, is here hundreds and millions of years later, it's still surviving. So these are up, top down and the bottom up approaches of innovation. We'll talk about this later uh, in more detail. So in science, uh, Innovations have led to um, discovery of DNA, the light bulb, vaccines, airplanes, telephones. And in the, in the field of art, you have the ceramic kiln, which is the oven, which, which bakes the pottery, uh, really changed how pottery was made. Paints in tubes made painting easier, stained glass, woodblock prints. All of these are revolutionary findings in, uh, in the field of art. Uh, so before I go on to my next presentation, part of the presentation, I'm going to talk to Atul to share his views on innovation, especially in the education industry. Uh, Atul, uh, I'll, I'll give it back to you for um, discussing how online education has, is transforming how we learn. Absolutely. Thank you, Naren, and uh, I truly appreciate all your wonderful words. So students... We all want to be very successful in life. I think that's why we are there. Now, uh, you also want to be very creative. And when we think about creativity, we normally think about playing the flute. We think about playing a musical instrument or singing a song or writing a novel or something of that sort. But creativity can also be brought into daily life. Creativity can also be brought into science. Creativity can also be brought into your day-to-day -day work. And let me give some examples over here before I get into education, Naren. The right side of our brain, which is creative, is so much more powerful than the left side of the brain. And we, you must have heard this, that the right side has to be used more. 
लेफ्ट साइड जो आप यूज करते हो नॉर्मली वो बहुत बोरिंग है उसको कुछ याद नहीं रहता है बट मैथ बहुत अच्छा करता है द राइट साइड ऑफ द ब्रेन इज अमेजिंग बिकॉज इट रिमेंबर्स अप टू नैनो सेकेंड्स सो लेट मी रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू लवली स्टूडेंट्स टू थिंक अबाउट अ सॉन्ग एनी सॉन्ग दैट यू हर टू ईयर्स बैक कोई भी सॉन्ग थोड़ा सा उसको गुनगुनाओ and you can sing it right up to the nanosecond you remember the tune how is it possible jab ki examination aur syllabus ka to kuch bhi yaad nahi rehta narein sab bhul jate hain history bhul jate hain civics bhul jate hain biology bhul jate hain but you remember music you remember stories and that is i think the beauty of the right side of the brain so pehli baat to aap sabko ye kahunga ki start using your right side much much more अगर आप अपना जो करिकुलम है स्टोरीज की तरफ से सुनोगे मजा लेके करोगे ये तो स्टोरी है लाइक आई वाज वेरी फॉन्ड ऑफ हिस्ट्री इन रेन बहुत मजा आता था मुझे हिस्ट्री में hmm. मेरे हिस्ट्री में बहुत नंबर आते थे क्योंकि मैं हिस्ट्री को हिस्ट्री की तरह नहीं पढ़ता था आई वुड रीड हिस्ट्री लाइक अ स्टोरी आई यूज टू गेट अ लॉट ऑफ मार्क्स इन इंग्लिश स्पेशली यूज टू हैव ब्यूटिफुल स्टोरीज इन आर इंग्लिश बुक so i would read and finish that book in the first day itself because the stories are such amazing stories and the moment life becomes a story then life is so successful so that's the first thing i'd like to add to all of you students ki creativity lao jo bhi karte ho to jab main iit gaya narain when i went to iit i bumped into a guy called uh, ravi ramachandran so ravi was je number 2 he had come all india rank number 2 in iit that's an amazing thing this guy was a genius so he became a very dear friend and he could solve every question so i went to ravi and said ravi tumne kaise karte ho hame to kuch samajh nahi aata hai so ravi said i try to put all different types of questions which are hundreds and thousands into eight different categories i prioritize of him ko सब आठों का कुछ ना कुछ आता है नो हाउ टू सॉल्व ऑल ऑफ द एट एंड देन ऑल द अदर प्रॉब्लम्स आर सम डेरिवेशन ऑफ द एट सो ही टॉट मी द पावर ऑफ प्रायोरिटाइजेशन यूजिंग क्रिएटिविटी तो आपके पास इतना सारा सिलेबस है खत्म नहीं होता है आठ आठ घंटे दस दस घंटे पढ़ाई करनी पड़ती है बट इफ यू कैन यूज क्रिएटिविटी इन टू फिगरिंग आउट हाउ टू प्रायोरिटाइज दिस हाउ टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड रिमेंबर यूजिंग स्टोरीज ये तो लाइफ बहुत आसान हो जाएगी और नंबर भी ज्यादा आएंगे तो एक तो ये मेरा सेकंड ट्रिक है और थर्ड मैं आप सबको ये बताना चाहूंगा कि क्रिएटिविटी जरूर अपने लाइफ में भी लाइए ब्रिंग क्रिएटिविटी इन इन टर्म्स ऑफ म्यूजिक और स्टोरीज एंड अदर एक्साइटिंग थिंग्स दैट यू ऑल लव टू डू पढ़ाई बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है बट उसके साथ साथ the three letter word called fun f u n which is very very important so people who don't have fun are not successful in rain we spoke about happiness the other day you know there was a study done by harvard university that happy people are successful and who are happy people people who are creative who are using and and understanding and enjoying the soft side of life are also more happy so the moment you bring creativity into your life you'll be so happier students and you'll do well so coming yeah. back to education uh education ka jo zamana hai wo bahut change ho raha hai aap sab lucky hain ki abhi still things are being used in the old way but the next generation uh, i i think these are called gen z the generation z students or you are also gen z i guess will have to do a lot more online a lot of education is going to be through gamification you'll play video games you brought video games into into exams narain so your exams are not exams anymore they are video games that you play based on knowledge that you have or analysis that you can do you are creating new things so the life is going to change dramatically if you really think about it aap sab ke paas phone hoga aur your parents ke paas phone hoga aur ye phone har saal hum badalte hain aur wohi knowledge ka पॉइंट है नरेन की नॉलेज को अनलर्न और नया नॉलेज लर्न करना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है वो भी क्रिएटिविटी है कि आप नई चीजें कैसे सीख सको और नई चीजें नहीं सीखोगे तो पीछे रह जाओगे तो ये मेरा लास्ट पॉइंट है तो मैं आप एक छोटा सा एक वीडियो प्ले करूंगा फ्रॉम शुलनी इट्स अबाउट ब्रिंगिंग क्रिएटिविटी इन कुकिंग हाउ कैन यू मेक 
कुकिंग बेटर लोग चूल्हा बनाते हैं पंजाब में तो बहुत बनाते हैं तंदूर चलाते हैं उसको आप एफिशिएंट कैसे करते हो बाकी एआई और मशीन लैंग्वेज और कंप्यूटर्स तो हर कोई करता है बट कैन यू ब्रिंग क्रिएटिविटी इन टू सिंपल थिंग्स शो स्मॉल वीडियो ऑफ बंच ऑफ exciting work that some of our students have done if you allow me narin can i do this please 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 so here it is about creativity in arena is that it doesn't have to be high tech you can bring mm. creativity into simple things like cooking like and this is all done by undergraduate students and i was so amazed at the creativity and i asked them how did you do this how can it be smokeless and they explained to me that when fire is burnt at 400 degrees celsius celsius and above then it stops emitting uh, carbon dioxide and uh, and uh, mainly the emissions of carbon monoxide which are smokeless and mm-hmm. i think that's mm-hmm. so amazing and that's such an amazing insight which i never had so mm-hmm. amazing stuff can be done students i'm going to uh, stop over here i'm going to hand it over to narin because we would love to hear more about you know your creativity and all the wonderful examples you have to show today yeah yeah thank you thank you so much so uh, we are talk about innovation so <laughs> question is you know from a um, uh, how do you start looking at what to be interested in right uh, i told you uh, awareness is about observing things around you so what happened was my uh, one of my friends has this uh, disease called motor neuron disease uh, it's also called als um, and the most famous person who has that disease is is stephen hawkins is is ka naam sunaga he's a very famous author and a scientist lekin what happened for my friend is he started losing his ability to use his hands and 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 hands were trembling and so suddenly the hands would not work properly uh so what happened was um obviously because he was a good friend uh i want to also understand how this disease was manifesting and since i i'm in the scientific field i did a little bit of research to find out what happens in this disease तो इस डिजीज में क्या होता है कि वन जीन विच इज कॉल्ड द सी नाइन और जीन कॉम्प्लिकेटेड नेम बट इट्स इफ यू लर्न इफ यू नो अबाउट क्रोमोसोम इट इज प्रेजेंट ऑन क्रोमोसोम नाइन एट पोजिशन सेवेंटी टू दैट्स हाउ इट्स गेट इट्स नेम ठीक है तो दिस जीन इज म्यूटेटेड इन पीपल एंड दैट्स हाउ यू गेट दिस डिजीज नाउ अ लॉट ऑफ पेपर्स हैव बीन पब्लिश अबाउट दिस जीन एंड हाउ दिस जीन फंक्शन बट um you have to have the defect in this gene to get this disease so what the scientists did was to understand how this disease how this gene may cause um this uh, deadly disease they made a mouse with and they deleted this gene from the mouse and they studied a normal mouse and the gene deleted mouse now there are bacteria in our gut which are which are either good bacteria or they are bad bacteria bad bacteria meaning they can cause disease so 
if you take a normal mouse uh, and uske andar in the gut of this mouse is normal good bacteria you don't get the um, motor neuron disease you put bad bacteria and if you don't and in a normal mouse you will get disease but won't get motor neuron disease but in a mouse which is deleted of the this gene c9 of 72 gene uh, you will see that if you give normal bacteria you don't get the disease but only when you give the bad bacteria you will get that als disease now this really is a very good advance in the understanding of the of the biology of this disease and this came from curiosity right um you all maybe some of you may be studying biology now and you have heard about uh, actg as the uh, nucleotides uh, of dna you have been maybe you some of you may, will study or maybe studying this now um there are, there are already two known more nucleotides that have been synthesized uh, artificially they are called x and y and a whole new bacteria with six nucleotides has been made uh, you all know about your computer storage how your hard disk and your flash drives uh, work um, very very recent work has shown that you can actually store electronic data on a piece of dna which which is which is made of biological material and this is actually been published that this uh, this process of storing electronic data on biologic material is is possible and because dna is very 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 stable it is stable in millions of years when we find fossils from millions of years dna is still very stable so the stability of the data will be very very strong and more innovations like virtual reality the black hole bionic eyes quantum computer 5g all of these are going to completely transform how we live our lives in the future yeah so be curious constantly look around and ask questions right it will lead to more exploration it will allow you to think deeply make rational decisions and be, have creative solutions you know this movie three idiots uh, this character that amir khan plays uh, was extremely curious in fact he went to college not to get a degree but to be to learn everything that he needed to learn um interestingly in um, at workplace when uh, harvard business review did a survey they found only 24% of the people at, at the workplace who are curious uh, and all of them face barriers because they don't they stop asking questions and as atul had said in his introduction as children you have this amazing ability to ask questions right don't don't forget that and keep asking questions throughout your life because this is this will lead to curiosity uh there are more examples of of innovation that i i will share but uh like for example this is a camera new camera that can convert sound into images so it's a really fascinating technology um and the ways to become curious is surround yourself as inquisitive people right create a reward system for curiosity have days where you can spend a day to, of trying to being curious by asking why what if and how how might we do this differently and your curiosity is your is strongest about things that you think about uh, very deeply yeah so uh, i'll end here um, by saying that studying is very important uh, but i think all the other aspects of life are also very critical to make a full education process so thank you so much and uh, we'll try to answer some questions thank you back to you atul thank you narain for these absolutely wonderful examples and jia ma'am thank you for also joining us and uh, i'll request all the students and all the teachers to please ask questions that you have anything that you have anything that you believe could be of interest to you but before that narain you know you are such a creative person and you are such a famous scientist and you've been so successful in the corporate world tell us a bit about your story tell us a bit about you know show some of your drawings would love to hear you play the flute do you have the flute with you yes i do love to yeah love to hear so, that and 
And I mean, you know, tell, try to tell us and the children, how do you bring creativity into science? Yeah, that's a good question. Let me play a little bit of the flute and then we'll see where, how to explore this. And if you know the song, I'm always playing the song, so it is challenging. Today, let's go. Let's tell you the song. Yeah. 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 हमें तुमसे प्यार कितना कि हम नहीं जानते सो लवली अगेन लॉस्ट वॉइस नरेन अगेन बी यू ड्रॉप नो आई थिंक वी लॉस्ट यू सम कनेक्टिविटी चैलेंज Very, very, very low, very low. So yeah, why don't you sort it out? So I'd like to, I'd like to mention to all the students and teachers that Narain is not just a great uh, scientist, but he also brings in a lot of creativity into his work. So he'll he'll show how he thinks and how does he does his science. He paints and he writes and he sketches all the time. And like I said, visuals and creativity can bring so much more into your work if you can do it well. It's of course a science also to learn how to be creative. So let me sort of uh, share uh, and I ask a question to Jaya Ma'am over here. Uh, Jaya Ma'am. Uh, you've been an educationist now for a very long time and you know with a new education policy also coming in a lot of more focus on the softer subjects liberal arts so would you like to share with the students and the teachers your thoughts about how do you really make the right side of a brain more exciting and uh, and move away from from classical analytical thinking what are your thoughts about it yes sir rightly said we have to make the right side of the brain used mostly because that is very creative uh, when when you are creative and curious you achieve so many things in your life if you are getting into only the rote learning like the b part only the reasoning the life gets bored very easily creative personalities they are very multifaceted personalities they enjoy their life because when you are studying studying is one aspect right we have to think about life in our school also we teach our children for life not only for say to earn something but when the focus when the focus is on earning then you are going into road learning coming first or whatever the position is getting into the right college right course no when you may make your passion into your profession then i think you get the most from your life absolutely amazing jia yeah, ma'am and you know we have got some students here uh, sanjeevani and uh, dhyani and navya could you put on your videos could you unmute yourself and uh, we'd love to have you into the discussion adhyani uh, negi and sanjeevani gupta navya can you hear me if you can get and join us we'll love it and i think some people are also asking and putting their hands up so we'll, good afternoon sanjeevani good afternoon so lovely to so lovely to see you thank you sir so how are you doing do you have any question for us any comment for us yes sir so i am very much interested in like social service and all but in the present times it is not possible to go out of my house so how can i be an asset to the society while staying at my home Sanjeevani, uh, I think it's a beautiful question. First of all, 
we india needs students like you who are interested in social service so i will leave three thoughts with you pehla thought ye hai ki aapke bahut sare dost hain jo bahut pareshan hain so uh, you can actually start a small counseling cell uh, with a couple of your friends uh, where you can counsel your other friends or other students from other parts of the country they can call you and they you can support them in these very tough times uh, i was in a school workshop the other day jia ma'am and uh, there is so much stress right now so you can do that that's one idea i knew of a student like you who said uh, they there are a lot of migrants and there are a lot of people who are not getting enough food so you can uh, sort of uh, distribute food to them without uh, you know any any covid exposure so that's something that i know some students are doing and finally you know uh, you can just be a very happy person if you're happy and and you keep people around you happy that itself is social service so i would say uh, you have to decide what you can do but lots of stuff can be done uh, over the internet for example you can look at teaching younger kids children right you can say ki okay bahut sare bacche hain aas paas jo जो पढ़ नहीं सकते एक और छोटा हम इनिशिएटिव कर रहे हैं जिया मैम एवरी वन हैज टू बी ऑनलाइन एंड आई रियलाइज दैट द पुअर पीपल डोंट हैव स्मार्टफोन बट मेनी ऑफ अस हैव टू टू थ्री थ्री स्मार्टफोन सम ऑफ देम बी चेंज देन दे आर लाइंग समवेयर इन आर इन आर ड्रॉर्स सो वाई कैन बी कलेक्ट ऑल दी स्मार्टफोन प्रॉब्लम ऑलरेडी डन दैट सो दैट्स वन इनिशिएटिव दैट आई स्टार्टेड दैट इज सेन बी कलेक्ट ऑल दिस ओल्ड स्मार्टफोन and give them to the poor who need the smartphones for education not to just play so kuch bhi kar sakte ho sanjeevani aisa nahi hai ki covid hai to nahi kar sakte of course wo cheeze nahi kar sakte jo pehle karni thi so yahi creativity hai ki kaise aap kuch different sochoge aur different karoge i don't know narain aap kya bologe iske bare mein nahi aapka voice nahi aa raha hai narain i don't know what maybe what i'll do is i'll log off and log in again Why don't you do that? Why don't you do that? So, so, but beautiful question, Sanjeevni. Sanjeevni, which class do you study? Could you tell us more about yourself? The ninth class. Fantastic, fantastic. And what do you want to become when you grow up? So, architect. Wow. So that's so creative. You know, architects are creative. So please do that. You know, architects also have to be very visual uh, in the way they operate things. So wonderful. Wish you lots and lots of good luck. in this thank you so much any, any other question you have anything else you have to ask no sir thank you so much fantastic so i don't know whether adhiyani you are there or navya you are there uh, so i think some other participants are asking some other students are asking questions so let me try to get them uh, inside the discussion so shikha can you bring them inside the discussion some of them Uh, are raising hands so we got chatali so i'll have chatanya ask a question he raised a hand you need chatanya. to make me the host actually okay i have to make you the host so that i have to learn how to make you the host but i just got chatanya uh, bansal in and chatanya was asking and put his hand chatanya you want to ask any question ajay any question from your end uh, both of ajay you ajay we promoted uh, him to the yeah. panel yeah graph no sir ajay. yes Good afternoon, sir. Ajay, Ajay the side. I'm the head boy of Ansar Public School. Uh, I have. A, thank you very much, sir. Uh, it's been a great experience. Uh, I have a question for you, sir. Uh, in the present times of uncertainty, you see the lockdown, the COVID situation. How do I uh, maintain my positivity and look towards the future with hope? That's a beautiful question, Narain. You want to pick this up? Can you hear me now? very very low some problem with are you on a computer or are you on you want to remove the uh, the ear plugs narain you could try to dot those i tried that and can you hear it without so maybe what i'll do is i'll try it on my uh, on a different different machine uh, why don't you why don't you i think you're better now you're better now go ahead you're better now i think we can hear you is it a little better but I... why don't you try the different machine till then i'll answer ajay's question uh narain we'll wait for you so ajay first of all uh, i love your voice okay you got a very deep baritone you got a lot of confidence so keep that up uh, ajay and uh, it's so lovely to much, see such a beautiful musician also 
होप so i think bachcho teen cheeze hain which i will request you to do uh, the first is be away from negative energy bahut sari negative baatein chal rahi hain you know uh, stop listening to news for example lot of negative stuff aur agar aapko koi dost milta hai jo negative baat karta hai ajay so keep away from that so that's my first thought so keep away from negative people be with positive people positive people will bring creativity into you and the negative people will bring negativity into you that's the first thing second thing i would say is do something jiska kuch output ho jisko lage for example cook a meal for your mother one day right and you'll see the love you'll get back from your parents draw draw a painting and uh, and put it in your living room if you can draw sing a song for your friends so there's a lot of stuff you can do by by making other people happy so making other people happy creates happiness even within so that's i think the second thing you should do so one is don't be negative don't be with negative people and second is create something with your hands the third which i think really helps me is uh, i read a lot ajay so thoda as books padho class books to padhoge hi padhoge but read a novel that you always want to do and finally for children of your age do some physical exercise very 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 important uh, whatever that is do a, at least half an hour to 45 minutes of some physical exercise play a game uh, i know you can't do much in covid but you can go for a walk you can go for a run you can do some skipping at home but do get some physical exercise is very very important so we'll ask narain also now hopefully technology is working narain <laughs> over to you uh, yeah can you hear me now perfect yeah. perfect you solved it <laughs> Okay. No, I didn't solve it. I just used a different instrument. Uh, mm -hmm. Anyway, so no, the, Ajay, very very insightful question. First of all, um, and um, let me ask you, uh, what are you doing? Like, I think Atul gave you some really good ideas. But are you doing any of these things that he said? So, uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, actually, I've been blessed with a lot of people I know who have a great experience in these. Uh, fields of art music and whatever i want to pursue in the future uh it's just that up uh, i uh, for in the fields of news uh i try to avoid as he said uh the tv news and i have a uh, specific sites like al jazeera and reuters which i look forward to for reading news and uh a pro friends i have been blessed with the great uh, circle of friends who are very really supportive and look forward to what kind of person i will become in the new future so are you in the 12th ajay yes sir i'm a student of 12th class fantastic so gana ho jaye jaane se pehle ha he plays he plays sir the, i play the piano vocal ki training bhi le rahe hain ye okay uh, i i would no actually uh, okay no no problem no problem yes, i sir. think uh, uh chaitanya or navya would you like to ask any question yes sir yeah chaitanya please go ahead you want to switch on your video also yes sir lovely uh, lovely thing chaitanya yes i want to ask that uh when we just listen a song we can remember it for uh, many years but uh, when we learn some question we can't remember it for months why is it so that's for you narain you have to bring in a biological answer for that <laughs> yeah so let me let me give you an example let me give you an example of 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 how to how how i do things and how i've sort of evaluated uh, something theek hai so what happens as atul mentioned there's a left brain right brain but you know Uh, without knowing the biology you, you i can't explain that to you so let's let's do an activity let, let, let's let me tell you how i do a particular activity so every week um on friday in in the evening 
I sit down on a piece of paper and I write seven things in my notebook. So I've got my notebook over here, right here in front of me. So every week um, I will write seven things that I have done that week. Which is important. So what happens is uh, you now have used your brain, different part of the brain to actually write down what you have done seven things. So instead of just thinking of the seven things, you actually write down the seven things that you have done. That means that you're using a different part of the brain to write. Now, if you read, if you, if you read it, now how are you reading it? That information of the seven things is going through your eyes. So when it goes through the eyes and it goes into the brain, it goes to a different part of the brain than when you are thinking. So when you read, when you read the seven things with your eyes, uh, that same seven things will go into a different part of your brain. Now, if you verbally read, physically read the seven things that you have done, I played music, I saw this movie, I actually, when you read the seven things down, then that same information is now going through your ears, right? And the, and the brain receives information differently when you think when you read and when you go from the ears. So if this, when the same piece of information goes in th different parts of the brain, then your brain is much stronger to remember it for, for a longer time. Does it make sense? So when you listen to a music, when you listen to music or when you, koi gana aapko yaad hai, right? Then not only are you listening to the music, you're actually watching the video, video se bhi aap gana le rahe ho, uh, sun bhi rahe ho, ga bhi rahe ho apna, wo gana. It's, that's why you remember. You're just reading. You're not even reading it aloud. I didn't student in is not a very bright student. So uh, what she made me do when I was in 11th and 12th, and this, I didn't know this, but uh, she, what she made me do, because I didn't sit and read, right? But it was very difficult for me. I always wanted to go out, play something, etc. I was always used to do, think in that direction. But my mother said, okay, no, no. You have to do something for one hour, you have to study something, right? But you didn't have any interest in studying, I couldn't read. So what did she do? She used to She used to make me copy the textbook word for word. Puri textbook ki textbook puri copy karwa li mere se. Right? Wo physics ki puri word for word. Tum wo kari thi bina soche lik do. Wo jahan wo wahan pe jo likha hai textbook mein, wo notebook mein lik do. Sochne ki zarurat nahi hai. Right? Padne ki bhi zarurat nahi hai. Jo wahan likha hai, yahan lik do. To phir, mene wo na, ek saal mein, teen char baar puri textbook di, teen char baar lik, lik, lik di sab puri. <laughs> right? But, to, to, but mujhe aisa laga ki main, uh, meri mummy ko ye kar raho, chak, chakna de raho ki, you know, main pad nahi raho, main likh raho, like, cheating kar raho, matlab, copy kar raho. Do you think you can write without reading? You cannot write without reading. So unbeknownst to me, I was reading. Right? So when you use different parts of your brain, that is why you remember. <laughs> so long answer, but hopefully... बोरिंग है वो उसमें इंटरेस्ट कम है तो अगर आप नंबर को स्टोरी की तरह देखोगे तो आपको नंबर याद रहेंगे Okay, don't remember anything. experiment karte to usko seekho koshish karne ki. So we have uh, uh, Vandana Sharma. That's not Vandana, of course. That's a lovely kid. I love your glasses. Oh, yeah, great. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Chaitanya. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Come to you, Mahek. Iske baad Mahek, aapke paas aayenge. Pehle Vand. Uh, Vandana, you there? No, I think we're not there. Mahek, aap question puchhenge? You have a question, Mahek? You wanted to ask a question? Yeah, Vandana. Yes, uh, sir. You want to ask a question? Oh, that's your son, I guess. Ah, please come on in, Vandana. Would love to. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Good evening, all of you. Uh, so, though it has been unprecedented times, but still we are lucky enough that we are sharing the same platform. 
And I want to thank you, our ma'am, respected Bhakti ma'am, that has given us an opportunity to share and uh, to hear the lovely experience with you. Thank, thank you so, so much. much. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, truly, and, sir, I want to ask. I want to ask one question. That nowadays, every time we are looking that coding and decoding is very much important for our kids. Uh, it should be included in the curriculum. So, uh, does it help in enhancing the critical analysis or creativity among our students? Vandana, ma'am, your voice is not coming very clear. Could you repeat your question? Sir, can you hear me? Not clearly. Jia, ma'am, could you hear Hello? me? Can you hear me, sir? Please, go ahead. go ahead again, Vandana. Please ask your question. Uh, so uh, every everywhere we are finding that coding and decoding is very much important. So uh, how what does it help? What is coding important? Coding and decoding. Sir, coding, coding and, and decoding. decoding. Talking about artificial intelligence, coding oh, and decoding. So you're talking about programming, coding. Okay, yes. coding. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Introdu introduction of coding and decoding in the school curriculum. So I want to ask that how does it help in uh, enhancing the critical analysis of our students, sir? Okay, okay, wonderful. So, uh, Vandra, ma'am, uh, what I would say is ki... Excuse me, sir, uh, am I audible to you? Yeah, we, I got the answer, I got the question. So, I'll answer the question answer karta hon, then I'll ask Naren also. So, we will jaldi jaldi answer the question quickly, Naren, because it's a little time. Kam hai. So, mere, mere, mere saap se, code, don't learn coding for the heck of coding. First, understand the rationale behind what you want to do usko and create the algorithm. Algorithm is the way you will uh, solve the problem. And then you code. So code, coding is now being done through the computers, through artificial intelligence. So coding is not a skill anymore. Critical reasoning is a big skill, Vandana Ma'am, because coding, you have an algorithm. After that, you can code. Kar sakta hai. Then it's basically a robot, even a robot can code. So the critical question, the ability to ask the right question, ki aap kya solve kar rahe ho, and then breaking then that down into smaller parts and creating an algorithm for uh, solving it. Language is not that important. Language uh, can be done by artificial intelligence or anyone who's not that good. So that will be my thought. So I would uh, teach critical thinking first and then teach coding from there rather than teach coding for uh, for a mechanical thing because that will not be a key skill anymore. I don't know, Narin, whether yeah. you agree with me or not. Yeah, no, I, I, I think you've covered uh, most of the topics uh, from a computer programming perspective. So, um, so yeah, I, I have not much to add. Let's, maybe we'll go to the next question. Thank you. Navya, Navya, is, Navya Mehta uh, is asking, Navya, if you can come and open up your, I think you're there. If you can open your camera, we'd love to. Good have evening, you. sir. Good evening, Navya. Good evening. We'd love to see you if you can do that. So Sir, Navya there are asking, some connectivity issues. No, no problem. No problem. Navya is asking a question that, look, I'm not an avid reader, but I would really want to be a, a voracious reader. So how do I go about doing this? And I know you read a lot, Naren, and I think you're the best person to answer this for Navya. Yeah. What type of books should I read? I think that's the question. So, you know, uh, Navya, one of the uh, stories that I tell about reading, I also was not an avid reader, but recently I've started reading a lot um, because I read a book which is called How to Read a Book. And this, was, this book was written in 1937 um, by an author whose name is Al, um, Mortimer Ad Aldous. So what, what he has written in 1937, in order to read a book, you have to read a book three times, right? It's ek bar nahi pad sakte, teen bar kaise padenge. So, you know, but it actually tells you really systematically how to do it. So when you read the book the first time, you, you have to, what he says, listen to the author. Kya ho gaya ki hum log na sunna band kar diya hum log ne. We, we don't listen to things nowadays. Like we are, we have, we've lost our attention to listen. So what we, when you read the book for the first time, you just, you don't criticize, you don't analyze, you don't do anything. You just read the book as if the as if someone is telling you a story uh, in person of course the author is not there in front of you but the listen the first time you read now and when you read the first time you know you you take a marker you mark the book and you mark the sections that you are that are interesting for you 
you read and and you keep a uh, special portion then you write on the write on the book or take notes and say what are the sections of this book that i like you keep keep uh, writing notes theek okay? hai then the second time when you read the book you are now having a dialogue with the author you you ask the author are tumne wo likha hai you not literally saying it but your mind is saying it are you have written that i don't agree with that this is it should be something different now you're having a dialogue with the author so the second time when you do the read you have to reading it is a dialogue and and now you don't have to it won't take you as much time it takes you half the amount of time to read the book the second time because you already marked the main portions so you read you read only the main portion and then finally when you read the book the third time and the only time you're allowed to read the book the third time is if you have read another book of the same subject because this time what you're saying is now you're having a conversation are usne to wo likha tha tum kaise tum ye kaise bol rahe ho like mera ye man hai wo ye aur kuch bol raha hai tumne ye likha hai then you have this three way dialogue with the author and then you and this time you are criticizing the book so when you listen analyze and criticizing the book three times and you read the book three times like this you will never forget the content of the book and if you use this methodology of reading the book more and more and more you actually don't have to read the book uh, book three times in the future you just be aware that now i am listening now i am analyzing and now i am criticizing the book if you if you do this then your ability to read just transform the name of the book is called how to read a book i highly recommend that book to be read and the read books that you love uh, uh, absolutely yeah. now you aapko fiction acha lagta hai to fiction padho pehle aadat dalo padhne ki mushkil book mat uthao like i would hate reading jaya ma'am to fir maine comics padhne shuru kar di there is a comic called tintin so i used to read a lot of tintin i started reading a lot of i finished all the tintin then i moved into enid blyton then i moved into of course you would have read all that those are easy ones then i moved into the next wave of books so don't pick up a book which is very difficult to read pick up a book that's very interesting and get into a habit of reading so tv kam dekho raat ko sone se pehle main bahut tv dekhta tha pehle naren main netflix bahut dekh raha tha ab main kya karta hu main netflix nahi dekhta main bolta hu ki main gana on karke main ab book padhta hu so kya baat hai har roz ek ghanta zarur book padho that's true for all the students बहुत मजा आएगा और uh, मजा भी आएगा और बहुत स्किल्स भी बहुत बनेंगे सो अध्यानी Oh, wow uh that's a good very very good question adhyani and a uh, very insightful question um i think you know i would say um every 10 years or so in my life uh i i, I kind of have reevaluated what my purpose of my life is or what my goals are um so after high school when you when you're younger you don't think about these things when you start getting gray hair you start reflecting and trying to see who you are and why you were born and why you are on this earth you start asking those kind of questions and i see jay ma'am smiling i see that <laughs> but but the way i have done it um, adhyani is is there's a, there's a process you, you, and, and this is not my own process this is a process that uh, you can find on google also it is a process where you where, where you write a letter to your younger self so um so right now for example i I'll, i'll be turning 60 so i i'm going to write a letter to my 50 year old self or i'll write a letter to my 40 year old self what what advice would i give myself uh when i was younger um so when i i've done a lot of that exercise over the years and that allows me to evaluate whether my last 10 years journey or last 20 years journey uh was where i planned it to be or did it be is it something completely different so writing letters to yourself is one way that i have uh, evaluated the purpose of life so every 10 years so atul i don't know if you want to add to that no absolutely i think that's one great way adhyani main kya karta hu depending on my goal to mera role model koi na koi hota hai inspiration inspiration bahut important hai life mein bina inspiration ke aadmi kuch nahi kar sakta hai so when i was in my 11th standard my 
cousin was my role model he was my inspiration he was studying at iit delhi and i said agar mithu ho sakta hai to why can't i get into iit to tab wo mera role model tha when i went to iit and i decided to uh, do an mba then i had a different role model when i started working now currently my role model is mahatma gandhi and steve jobs so your role models will change and your inspiration will change because your goal in life will also change और बेस्ट रोल मॉडल वो होते हैं जो आपके सामने हो जिनसे आप सीख सको सो so, आपके टीचर्स हैं आपके पेरेंट्स हैं आपके कजन होंगे सो मेक फाइंड अ रोल मॉडल फाइंड एन इंस्पिरेशन इन दैट आई एक्चुअली से अध्यानी दैट द बिगेस्ट लीडर एंड द बेस्ट लीडर इन द वर्ल्ड इज आर मदर इज देर इवन वन सिंगल डे दैट इज एवर हैपन हाउ एवर सिक योर मदर इज दैट शी हैज नॉट गिवन यू फूड इवन फॉर वन मील सारा खाना बनाएंगी मम्मी Mummy should be an inspiration. So inspiration तो आपको जब आप नजर मारेंगे कहीं से भी मिलेगा और हर किसी की लाइफ में एक मूवी है रॉक स्टार जरूर देखिए उसमें क्वेश्चन पूछते हैं रणबीर कपूर की मैं रॉक स्टार कैसे बनू वो बोलता है कि जिस दिन आग लग जाए आपके यू नो फायर इन दैली एज बी कॉल इट यू नो यू रियली वॉन्ट टू डू इट किसी भी चीज को कहते हैं शिद्दत से मांगो इतनी शिद्दत से तुम्हें पाने की कोशिश की है हर जर्रे ने हमें मिलाने की साजिश की है याद है शाहरुख खान ओम शांति ओम तो किसी भी चीज को अगर आप दिल से चाहो और जरूर चाहो तो सारी कायनात उसको आपको मिलाने में लग जाती है और कोई भी आईडी क्रैक कर सकता है कोई भी डॉक्टर बन सकता है कोई भी म्यूजिशियन बन सकता है तो टाइगर वुड्स बहुत फेमस गोल्फ गोल्फर है नरेन वो बोलते हैं कि किसी भी चीज को फोर्टी टाइम्स करो इफ यू डू समिंग फोर्टी थाउजेंड टाइम्स यू बिकम अ गुरु ए दैट Now the problem is we never do it for forty thousand times. So I would say, find inspiration around you, Adhani. So there'll yeah. be times in life, and there'll be different points in life. You'll have different inspirations, and keep your values intact. बहुत सारे लोग बोलते हैं अरे चोरी करके चीटिंग करके सक्सेस मिलता है. Longer term में चीटिंग करके कभी सक्सेस नहीं मिलता है. So always be honest, truthful in whatever you do, and be nice and humble with your friends. बहुत तरक्की करोगे एंड यू आर सच ए ब्यूटीफुल गर्ल यू डू वेरी वेरी वेल इन लाइफ थैंक यू आई होप वी आंसर्ड अ क्वेश्चन थैंक यू सो मच सर इट वाज रियली हेल्पफुल थैंक यू महक इज आल्सो गॉट अ क्वेश्चन सो वी विल रिक्वेस्ट महक टू आल्सो अह अह वी विल आस्क महक टू कम ऑन स्टेज इफ महक इज देयर महक इज आस्किंग हाउ डू आई यूज द राइट साइड ऑफ माय ब्रेन यस सर So in the starting of the um, webinar, you said that uh, use the right side of your brain to, you know, do more creativity and be more productive. So, like for example, if we take that, I have my biology test tomorrow, and mm. I have to, you know, give the test at my best. So, I uh, like uh, you said, you have to use right side of your brain. So, okay. uh, how if you specific. can tell me a specific way Scientific. how to use the right side of your brain? maybe okay. i'll start uh, oh, no. you start narend then i'll i'll pick no no so mehak that's a very good question let me just um uh, let me show you something uh what what i do is when i read a piece of paper uh i usually you know in my mind that that image there's a image that has come right let's say let's say i'm a, let's say i'm imagining a story i'm reading a story simple story and the story is of an elephant and a parrot for example right uh, i'll read i'll read while i'm reading the elephant and the parrot story i will actually try and draw an elephant and a parrot on the on on a piece of paper right uh, when i draw that elephant and a parrot on a piece of paper that image remains with me for a very long time right but if i just read the story of the elephant and the parrot i might forget the story so when you when you write and draw at the same time uh the the image will last with you with much longer so um atul i was going to show some examples of that but go ahead no uh, go ahead. i love to see your examples but i'll ask a very simple question and i don't know whether you can see this but can you uh, read a number that i have over here right mm yeah what is the number 2156534678 yeah can someone remember this number i'll give you 30 seconds back <laughs> It's a very simple no. number. Okay, it's very difficult to remember this number. It's two one five six five three four six seven. 
but i can create a story around it and now i'll remember it i'll tell you i was born on the 21st of may and i think by the age of 65 when i reach i would like to have 34 patents and i should have touched 67 lives so i created a small story out of it i can create whatever story out of numbers and it's so easy to remember i was born on the 21st of may so 21 5 at the age of 65 i would like to have 34 patents and 67 research papers wow yeah amazing, again, right? amazing 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 <laughs> Well so that, now I use my right brain to remember, and that's what you do. So if you create stories, if you create, and this is my practice, uh, Mahak. So just like biology's exam, they are. So biology's diagrams are there. If you create that diagram, go art. It's a piece of art, right? Mitochondria, make it. So think that you're creating a piece of art and not a biology thing that you have to remember. Then you will have so much fun in it. So stories yeah. and art and all will help you, and practice it. So, uh, So I was showing you, Mahek. So this in the last three months, I've made more than hundred paintings of of things that I read. Every time I read, I make I make a drawing out of it. Wow! So you can see you can see. So so it it's a habit. So when I read, I draw. So I remember. Yes. Sir. So for you, will think this thing make a mind map or make a flow chart so that you can exactly. remember things easily. Absolutely. Exactly. I think visuals help you remember way better than than just uh, what what Narain said. Just remembering. So time is almost up. I think Shab. I'll pick up a couple of questions. Narain Shabna Ma'am is asking. You know, what do we do in these times? How do we bring positivity to my little students? I really miss them. How do I bring positivity? I I try to answer that, Shabna Ma'am. Don't listen to the news. It's very toxic nowadays. Uh, let's stop worrying about ssr i think there are bigger things in the world to be done than uh, ssr uh, or other negative things that are happening uh, be with positive people and uh, pursue a hobby i would say i think these will be things and for someone like you do meditation i think meditation really helps so agar aap ye kuch karenge to bahut aapko help milega so uh, you have to find your own way but i also uh, uh you know i when i get stress narain i and i do get a lot of stress sometimes i just blank my mind off and i don't think about that stressful issue anymore and it goes away and that's the beauty right. of stress that everything goes away right right so anika is asking that you know in the everyone is saying the things are going to change post covid how are things going to change so well lots of ways anika more importantly increasingly we are talking about technology playing a bigger role in our lives so So you'll always have some. So Anika, hi. How are you? Lovely to see you. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Anika. Good afternoon. So lovely to see you. So yeah. So your lives will change when you go to university. Uh, your your university will have lots and lots of online lectures, much more than before. You'll be using a lot more technology in everything that you do. So आप ऐसे सोचो कि अभी आप online classes कर रहे हैं तो you're being you know you're going through an internship to learn how to live in this real world because aajkal everyone is working from home i'm sure your mummy papa working from home right uh, jia mam is working from home to future mein har koi bahut sare log home se kaam karenge aapko practice mil rahi hai home se kaam karne ki by being a student so things will change that way narin how do you think things will change post covid well, you know uh, the the new no everyone has to figure out what their new normal is going to be sabka thoda thoda alag hoga और यू नो लेस जैसे डॉक्टर नर्सेस इनको तो जानते जाना ही पड़ेगा काम पे यू नो और एंड पीपल इन द शॉप हैव टू ओपन देयर शॉप्स कुछ लोगों को तो करना ही पड़ेगा सो यू नो वेयरिंग मास्क व्हेन द वैक्सीन इज अवेलेबल मे बी टेकिंग द वैक्सीन ऑल ऑफ दीस थिंग्स विल बिकम अ न्यू नॉर्मल फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस होपफुली यू नो सोसाइटी नेवर गोस बैक टू वेयर वी वर वी फाइंड अ न्यू वे टू लिव आई थिंक दैट दैट्स व्हाट द एक्साइटिंग पार्ट ऑफ द न्यू वर्ल्ड इज गोइंग टू बी Thank you. One last question we'll take. Uh, I, I know we have overtaken our time, but Niharika is there, and Niharika has got a question. So Niharika, if you can also ask a question, she's basically saying that how can we timetable for upcoming exams that we haven't studied as yet? Right. So that's a good question, uh, Niharika. So if you can, please, your video on. Carlo, Niharika, we love it. 
and we'd love to see you also. Lovely Niharika, lovely to see you. Hi, how are you? Hello, sir. Good evening. Good evening. So, my request is that we call it procrastination. You think that you will study tomorrow, 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 and it will never come to you. Okay? So, you have to do two things. If you have 10 days left for exams and you have 5 subjects, then you can write on a paper that I will study so many hours on this subject. And follow that. But the important thing is to follow it. And follow that. But the important thing is to follow it. Because we don't follow, uh, you know, what happens is we'll write a nice, lovely plan, Narayan. I used to write a lot of plans. And every time uh, you never follow your plan and say, Kal kar lenge, koi baat aaj ka kya hai. I'll do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow, ka perso hota hai, perso ka. Jab to, fir last din mein jab exam hota hai, yaad aata hai. So I did a lot of that. Yeah, ma'am, at IIT, I would study at the last day. And we all do that. So avoid that. Uh, or most important, है कि क्लास में ध्यान दो निहारे का सो इफ यू लर्न इन द क्लास रूम वेन यू टीचर इज टीचिंग देन यू डोंट हैव टू स्टडी इट बिकॉज देन वी वर सेइंग योर राइट साइड ऑफ द ब्रेन कम्स इन एक बार समझ में आ गया क्यूरियोसिटी आ गई फिर तो आपको लर्न करने का जरूरत नहीं है रिमेंबर करने का जरूरत नहीं है दैट्स द वे आई डू इट आई डोंट नो नरेन आप क्या कहेंगे या आई थिंक आई थिंक ऑल ऑल व्हाट यू हैव सेड इज गुड वी हैव आल्सो टॉक्ड अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट हाउ टू यूज ड्राइंग हाउ टू हाउ टू प्लान uh things and follow up with the plan thoda discipline lagta hai you know you have to follow with a little bit of discipline self discipline it's hard it's very hard but uh, you know you have to so be self motivated hai, uh, sorry i am interrupting niharika time bahut kam hai anupama is asking does being creative help one get an edge over uh the race to succeed in life so pehle to anupama race nahi hai isko race mat lo please life is beautiful don't see it as a race uh but yes uh, you'll see every successful people has is typically very creative uh, typically you know uh, so creativity helps what do you think narain yeah it again it's right definitely the race is with yourself you have to be a better you every time in the future if you if you use that philosophy i think you will constantly be do do well uh, it is nice to see what other people are doing but ultimately the race is with yourself Absolutely, and uh, be dream big. Absolutely, yes. yeah, ma'am. I always always tell my students, dream big, बड़ा सोचो. But uh, competition में मत रहो. अपने से competition है. Or be happy also. खूब मस्ती मारो. Or मैंने देखा है नरेन जो आप जैसे लोग होते हैं इतने successful वो मस्ती भी बहुत मारते हैं और काम भी बहुत करते हैं. सही बात है. आपके बच्चे इतने ब्यूटीफुल हैं I mean, this is the most exciting talk I've had because you have just amazing kids. You all of you will be very very successful क्योंकि आप सब बहुत ही बढ़िया हो इतने yeah. अच्छे मैंने क्वेश्चन कभी सुने ही नहीं सो अमेजिंग गुड लक चिल्ड्रन एंड यू हैव सच अ ब्यूटीफुल स्कूल यू हैव सच अ ब्यूटीफुल प्रिंसिपल एंड यू गॉट जस्ट ब्यूटीफुल टीचर्स सो गेट द मैक्सिमम आउट ऑफ देम आप सब बहुत अच्छा करोगे टेंशन मत लीजिए टेंशन लोगे तो टाइम खराब होगा सो आई थिंक विद दीज वर्ड्स वील कम टू एन एंड आई रिक्वेस्ट जे एम एम टू गिव अ लास्ट थॉट्स एंड Uh, Naren, one sentence after that from your end to close the day. Jia, Nar- ma'am, over to you. You are muted, Jia, ma'am. Jia, ma'am, you are muted. Jia, ma'am, you are muted. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. My dog was here, so I don't want that everyone <laughs> hear his voice. That's why I got myself muted. No okay, problem. Okay, good evening to all. I'm really happy, Doctor. And first of all, I would like to thank Doctor Naren for sparing his valuable time and interacting with my kids. and telling small small things i one thing i liked in your speech sir how to read a book i i am a voracious reader but i never paid uh, attention to that we have to first start a dialogue and then we have to analyze then criticize never ever but now i am learning this thank you so much for the new learning of the day and mr atul i am also thankful because you are uh, i mean cooperating with the school so much every other month we are having one or other seminar thank you thank you shulini university and we keep learning what your university is also doing the stuff which which you have shown today it's really interesting 
you see particularly in the hill area where the people are uh, needing this you are innovating for them so so nice of you thank you so much i hope we will have have more future interactions as well thank you absolutely. so much absolutely i think uh, uh, while uh, narain is a very very busy man we'll request narain to come back and speak to the students again i just love this session i'm sure so did narain i'm you sure yeah this is like very delighted very delighted Ren, uh, last you. thoughts for from your end. Uh, yeah, you know, I think what what I talked about today was maybe you know curiosity and creativity. I think curiosity is will take you far. So be curious. <laughs> so Absolutely. I think that. Super. So let's be curious uh, and uh, like I always say, Hakuna Matata. Don't worry. Be happy. So be curious and be happy. I think that's really the mantra. uh so wish you students uh, all the best i don't know whether the new education policy changes will uh, change your life or not but they, who knows there might not be a je and uh, neat in the coming That's years good. which is it going to be, be there. maybe be after there. a year or two it won't be there there yes. will be only one examination for all the universities which basically now means that all that magga that you would do remembering is not needed so great stuff happening around the world and once again wish you all the best thank you jaya ma'am naren salute for always thank you thank you sir thank you very much thank you for the great and i would also like to thank uh, ankush and shikha for organizing this uh, thank you so much yeah. thank you shikha and ankush yeah bye bye have a great day bye 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 students bye ma'am